In this session, we'll begin to examine techniques that can be used to construct drawings that contain multiple orthographic views. We'll construct the first portion of the drawing of the locator part shown here. After choosing the Start from Scratch option, we'll select the default settings of Metric. We'll now select the Pull Down option Tools, followed by selecting the Drafting Settings option. We'll change the spacing of the grid as well as the snap spacing to 10 in both the X and Y directions. We'll now click on OK to establish these settings. In order to make use of the grid and snap options, we'll switch them on by clicking on the corresponding buttons on the status bar. We'll now click on the Layers icon in the Object Properties toolbar to display the Layer Properties Manager window. We'll create a new layer named Construction that has a color of white and continuous line type. We'll also create a new layer named Object that has a color of yellow and continuous line type. We'll now highlight the layer Construction and then click the Current button to set it to be our current layer. Now we'll click on OK to accept the setting. We'll begin drawing construction lines by clicking on the construction line icon. And then we'll left click the mouse twice to draw a vertical line. We'll now move the mouse to the right of the first location and then left click again to draw the horizontal line. Now we'll right click the mouse to end the construction line command. We'll now click on the snap button in the status bar area to turn it off. The offset command can be used to create construction lines that are parallel to the two existing lines, so we'll click on its icon. We'll now key in 125 as the offset distance and then select the vertical line. In order to indicate the direction, we'll make sure that the mouse is on the right side of the selected vertical line and then click the left mouse button once more. We'll now right click the mouse to end the offset command. Now we'll create a horizontal line that is 60 units above the existing horizontal line by repeating a similar sequence of commands. We'll continue the process of creating offset lines until we have the layout shown here. The construction lines define the outline of each of the orthographic views of the drawing. Prior to drawing lines that actually define the locator part, we'll left click in the layer control box and then left click again on the layer object to set it as our current layer. We'll now turn on Running Object Snaps by selecting the Pull Down option Tools and then selecting the Drafting Settings option. Now we'll click the Object Snap On box to turn it on and then make sure that the Object Snap modes, Endpoint, Intersection, and Extension are all checked. We'll now select the Line icon and then draw lines that define the outline of each of the views.